Hi, it's DM. You are probably watching this video because you followed the instructions on how to use your We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile tool and you're getting a result that looks like this. Meanwhile, you are expecting something that looks a little more like this. Now, this is not perfect, but it's a lot better than this. And I'm going to show you how you can achieve that. So the tool allows you to set eyelets in two different sizes, the um, 1 8 inch size or 3 millimeters. But I'm going to refer to the small size just to keep it simple. And if you ever forget, the size is etched onto the tool itself. So over here, you're going to see that it says 1 8 inch. And then this is the corresponding punch for that size. And then if you flip the tool over, it's going to show you that the other side is the 3 16 inch size and then the corresponding punch for that side. And then the tool has like some other settings on it. So I just wanted to point out a couple things over here. So over here, this little icon actually tells you that that's where the top of the eyelet should be. And then this even tells you that that's the base. And then these little cubes, they can be like changed depending on like what size eyelet you're setting and um, the cubes have like little numbers and letters on them. So for example, if you look over here, this one um, has a le letter D, but all you really need to know is that for this top of the tool, it should be set to the letter C, which is the skinny little prong over here. And I find that it doesn't matter if I'm punching small or big eyelets, I get the same result. So just to keep it simple, I never change that. And then all you need to know is that for the bottom, like the bottom is the one that you're going to be changing to either the number two or the number four, depending on the um, size of your eyelet. So if you are like setting a small eyelet, it should be set to the number four, which is this copper one here. And it tells you that the, the number four is over there. So I'm just going to pop this cube back into place. And actually, I'm just going to zoom out a little so you don't get dizzy here while I demonstrate this. So I am going to punch a hole into this uh, 65 pound cardstock paper. And then I'm going to take my eyelet and place it over the hole. Place the tool over the eyelet. And then give it a good squeeze. And then this is the result that I get. So again, it, not perfect, but better than the smashed look. And then I'm going to demonstrate it for the bigger eyelet. So for the big eyelet, it should be set to the number two. So I'm going to change the cube here to the number two, which looks like this. Okay, pop it back into, lock it back into place. I'm going to punch my hole into this paper again, 65 pound cardstock. I'm gonna take a big eyelet and place it over that. I'm gonna use a washer this time. And again, whether I use a washer or no washer, like I'm gonna get the same result. So just gonna place the washer over this. And then this is gonna wanna fall off because I'm doing it on camera. So I'm just gonna turn it this way and then make sure my washer doesn't fall off okay and then i'm just gonna give this a good squeeze i also like to turn it <laughs> and squeeze it over there to apply even pressure and then this is the result that i get so if this if you found this helpful or this solved your problem i would love to know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching bye